do 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 I'll be watching you. Do 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 do. Okay, so I have now um, drilled and tapped one side, and I've just put this in the um, in the pedestal drill and lined this up very carefully, uh, so that now I can screw this onto the plate. And as I drilled this, of course, um, this um, shaft was clicking into this little central piece here. So this is pretty good. I, I'm pretty happy with this. I think I had to cut these screws down to make them fit, but what we've got now is a very nice base for this to connect to, and that is lined up. So I'm pretty happy with that. So now we go to stage two. Okay, so now I'm going to build my uh, seal casing, and I've got this little piece of brass here. I only want it about 20 millimeters long. There's a bit of a hole in that side, so I'm going to use a center drill now just to start the process, and then this is a 3.15 mil drill because I want plenty of clearance in here. I'm just going to touch that. And now I'm going to drill this through with a, this uh, at least for, let me see, around about that far so that I can um, part this off. Dwarf builds up on this drill, so I make sure that um, I get it out regularly. So I'm just now going to put a shoulder on here, like I described. It doesn't be, it's not going to be deep. shoulder does in fact line up exactly with the hole that I've drilled through the middle, which is what I actually want. So now I'm going to part this off at about the 20 millimeter mark. I could make it a bit less. I could actually make it about 18. I think that'll be enough. Yep. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so now I'm going to start by drilling these holes into the uh, into this end vertically, and I'll begin with a um, and I'll begin with a center drill. Always have to make sure these are nice and tight when you're going to brass, and you cut gently. Drills a bit off center, but because the center drill started this process, it's fine. All right, so now we've um, drilled those holes. I'm ready now to tap a three mil thread 
into these. This is why I want plenty of meat in this end part here so that I can not only drill the thre threads easily but the head of the screw won't um, touch the uh, shaft when it's done. Always a help. That makes an instant difference. This is a matter of practice, I guess, knowing how much pressure you can put on a tap before it breaks. I must admit, I've not broken a tap in I don't know how long. And it's all about just backing off, breaking the swarth, cleaning it up, and that's what it does when you back, the, back it off. It just moves the swarth out of the way, and you find you get another bite and another couple of turns. I think this is about far enough. I think it's reached the end of the hole. Okay, so now I'm going to line up the lathe on the hole in the center of here, and I want to get this uh, done quite nicely. That's the high spot. Oops. Move that. And you can see that's the that's the high spot. I really love having a four jaw chuck. It's not as quick as a three, but you get this sense of being able to get everything really spot on. I spent a lot of time, I guess, playing around with dial indicators. It's a nice feeling when you get it right. High spot. Oh wow, I'll, I'll get rid of that just by pulling it down a bit tighter. Just there. That's good enough for what I want. Now what I didn't do is I'm going to have to mark like that uh, on here so when I part this cover off, I know how to put it back. I can feel this vibrating as it's cutting through the holes. So you can see here my um, O-ring set, very cheap, I think it was about $20, it's lasted me forever. And what I need to do now is find an O-ring, and here it is, I know which one immediately, which will have a nice fit on here, it's, it's just a tiny bit loose actually, but that will be fine um, as we pull down the um, cap. So, that's good. We have our O-ring. Now what I need to know is how big is this? 
it is 2.283 thousandths of an inch. And this is what I want to machine now into the end of this seat. <laughs> Point four two. That means it needs another twenty off. And I think that's about perfect. It's nicely proud, and uh, the little plate will pull that down, squish it out, and that will fit very nicely. So now I just want to drill that plate out with a 3mm drill. And just sit nicely in here. Which way round does this go? There's my double line. Oops. That's lovely. I can feel that tightening up nicely on that shaft. In fact, it's almost a bit tight there. I can back it off, but that is a that is a very nice seal. All done well. So the next step is to take this little plate and get it to fit on that shoulder. So once again, I'm getting this lined up nicely in here. This has got to be very close. That's good enough. Okay, so now we just um, solder this on. And I use um, silver solder. All done.